hello everyone in this video i will be telling you about computer graphics topic that is spline and first of all on the screen you can see the heading is spline representation so a spline is a flexible strip used to produce a smooth curve through a designated set of points now it's what is spline it is a flexible strip fine in the further slides you will be seeing the diagram of a spline then they say several small weights are distributed along the length of the strip to hold it in position of the drafting table as curve is drawn. So they say several small weights. Now you will be seeing the dots. They are known as the weights. They are uh, saying which we also call as control points. So they are uh, distributed along the length of the strip to hold the position on the drafting table curve. As you will see in further slides the diagram of it. The term spline curve originally uh, referred to a curve drawn in this manner. Now, what they say is, now the next slide we move to, they say, fine. In computer graphics, the term spline curve now refers to any composite curve formed with polynomial section specifying specified continuity condition at the boundary of the pieces. Now, a spline surface can be described with two sets of orthogonal spline curves splines are used in graphical applica uh, applications to design curve and surface shapes to digitize drawing for computer storage and to specify animation paths for the objects or the camera in a scene now this they have just told about now we have actually two types of splines number one is interpolation spline and other is approximation spline so uh, basically in the diagram form I will be telling you the difference. So what they say basically of both of them is we specify a spline curve by giving a set of coordinate position called control points as just I told in the previous uh, slide which indicates the general shape of the curve. These control points are then fitted with price wise continuity continuous parametric polygon functions in one of the two ways. Now. Uh, they talk about this diagram you can see of this is of interpolation spline fine so this says when polynomial sections are fitted so that the curve passes through each control points now the dotted dot line in this curve which you see the uh, the dot ones they are known as control points uh, as a figure the resulting curve is said to interpolate the set of control points so this curve is basically uh, now the difference in uh, this figure says a set of the control points interpolation with parametric continuity points uh, that is the normal section now what what is it actually this says this is a uh, flexible strip as we say the definition of spline was now in interpolation spline what happens is these dot is on the line so that's why these control points are on the line so this is interpolation splines on the other hand uh, when the polynomial are fitted to the general control point paths without necessarily passing through any control point the resulting curve is said to be approximated the set of control points now this is approximated uh, uh, you know approximated uh, part of the spline in which the curve uh, there is a flexible strip and the control points are either above the line or below the line so this is approximated spline fine so there are two rows spline one is interpolated in which the control points are on the line and one is approximated in which the control points are above or below the line now this says uh, a spline curve is defined modified and manipulated with operations on the control points so whenever you uh, either extend the, uh, those control points stretch them or contrast them the shape of the spline changes so in addition the curves can be translated translated means from one place to another it can be shifted rotated either clockwise or anti-clockwise or scaled either expanded or contrast with transformation applied to the control points the convex polygon boundary that encloses a set of control points is called convex hull now uh, we make a convex dotted uh, convex hull uh, which says this range which is actually the range of the spline movements fine uh, spline control point movement so that is known as a convex hull which is uh, made around the okay this is another topic now so i hope this video of spline and types of spline is clear to you thank you and have a nice day thank you